Hi friends, this is the first of two tutorials for our project Math Art. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to code a sprite to spread random stars all around our screen by having the user press the spacebar. So let's get started. We're doing this in Scratch, so you need to start with a new project. If you're coming from CS First, just click the plus sign and hit New Project, and you'll get a screen just like mine with Scratch Cat and a blank background. Our first step is to make a simple backdrop, and to do this, we're going to paint our own backdrop. So we're going to scroll over the backdrop, and we're going to hit Paint. That will take us to our backdrop editor. So what we want to do, I want a simple black backdrop for mine so that the stars really pop. So I'm going to come up to the fill and I'm going to turn my brightness all the way down so it turns black. And I'm going to click off that. I'm going to choose my rectangle tool so that I can do a huge rectangle that covers more than my board. I want to make sure it goes from corner to corner. And now I have a simple black backdrop. Now the second step you're going to do is choose a sprite. You can keep Scratch Cat or you can choose your own sprite. This is your chance to make this project your own. Have fun choosing your sprite. You can choose the chick like I did or you can keep Scratch Cat or choose your own. I'm going to get rid of Scratch Cat. And my sprite is just a little big because I want to see the stars. So even though this chick is a, kind of small, I still want to make it even smaller. I'm going to make it, I think, 50% of what it is. I'm going to go to size and 50. So as soon as you've resized your sprite, you have a black background, you are ready to go. Now we have one step to do before we start grabbing our blocks because we have some blocks we're gonna to use today since we are drawing in Scratch. We wanna use our pen blocks, but if you look on my menu here, I don't have any pen blocks. So you're gonna to have to go down to this bottom corner and when you hover over it, it says add extension. You're gonna click on that and you're gonna choose the pen block. So now it shows up down here at the bottom. So now I have that as an option and I can use those blocks. The first code we're going to write, it has four blocks. It's called a reset code. It basically erases your background so that the user can make a bunch of um, sprites and then hit the green flag and they'll go away. So the first block that we're going to grab is actually from the pen menu. It's this erase all, the very first one. I'm going to grab that out. The next block, I'm going to come up here to my events menu. And we're going to grab a when green flag is clicked because that's what we want for our reset. I'm going to put it right on top. Now my next two blocks are from the blue motion menu. And they're actually, we're going to say, I want my sprite to always start whenever the green flag is clicked. I want the background erase. I want my sprite to start in the middle or wherever you want your sprite to start. Now it's easiest if you move your sprite first to wherever you want it because then these numbers are exactly where you want it to be. You're gonna grab a go to X, Y, put it right there. And you're also gonna grab a point and direction 90 because you want your sprite to always start face up because as it draws all these stars, it's going to be rotating and it might end up in a funny direction. So to make your reset code, you have a win green flag clicked and erase all, a go to X, Y, and a point and direction 90. And that is your reset code. Remember when you're making your reset code to be clicked on your chick and not your backdrop so that your code is going on the right item. The next thing we need to do is start our code for our star. The shape of a star comes from three different blocks. I'm going to grab two of them from my blue menu, my motion menu. It's the first two blocks right here. Move 10 steps and you're going to grab a turn clockwise 15 degrees and you can hook them onto each other because they'll eventually go onto each other anyways. My next block that I'm going to do to make my shape is on my controls, my orange menu here. And it's a repeat block. So I'm going to move that in because to build a star, when the repeat stands for how many sides that your shape is. A star has five sides, so I'm going to change this to a five. And then the next one, move 10 steps, shows how big your star is going to be. I'm going to make this a 20. And then the last one is, it determines what kind of shape it is. If you put this at 144, you will end up with a star. Now, if you click on this and try it, 
your <laughs> your sprite goes a little crazy but doesn't draw anything because we haven't added the pen tool so now is when we grab all the rest of the blocks that we need and i'm just going to put them out here on my board to get them out here i'm going to put this a little further down because most of my blocks come up on the top now while we're still on the chick making sure that you're still on the chick we're going to just grab all the rest of the blocks and then we'll put them in the right order since we're already on the control menu i'm going to grab all my control blocks i have two more blocks i'm going to grab from here and if then and i'm going to grab a stop all which is down here at the bottom i'm not going to attach them to each other my next menu i'm going to go to i'm going to come up to my events because i need to grab a when the space key is pressed because that's how our user is going to make our sprite makes stars then i'm going to go to my motion blocks and i'm going to grab a go to random position the last set or actually i have two more menus i have to go to i have to go to my sensing menu right down here under control and i need to grab a key space pressed and finally i need to grab all my pen blocks I have quite a few pen blocks I'm going to grab, so I'm going to actually grab two pen ups. You don't have to grab two, I just like to, just to make sure that I'm not dragging the pen around the board. And then I'm going to grab a set pen um, size to one. That's the very bottom block. And then I'm going to do a change pen color by 10. And I'm also going to grab a pen down block. So now I have one, two, three, four, five pen blocks in addition to my erase all and I am ready to go. Now I'm going to assemble this. The first block that I'm going to grab is my pen up and I'm going to hook it onto the bottom of my shape because as soon as it draws the shape I want my pen to be lifted up so it's not dragging color around my board. The next one that I'm going to put at the bottom is change pen color by 10. So now those are the only two that go below my shape. Now I need to build above my shape. I'm going to put my pen down right above it and my set pen size links right on top of there. And now my next set, actually I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna grab my go to random position and hook it on. My next set of blocks I actually want to build before I attach it all. Do you see how this is a kind of diamond and this is a diamond right here? It just goes right in there. I'm gonna put key space pressed into my if then and I'm gonna put my stop all inside of my if then. And then you're gonna to go to your menu and you're gonna switch it to other scripts in Sprite. When that is all built, then I can attach it above, go to random position. And then I'm gonna put my pen up and then when space key is pressed. So once you attach your blocks all like that, you're going to have all your code that you need for your star and I want you to try it out. I'm gonna hit my green flag to set it and I'm gonna hit my space bar. And you'll see I have a bunch of little stars going on here. So you can play with the size, you can play with the thickness and make it your own. I hope you guys have fun doing this. Before you leave, remember to come up here and title your file, I call it math art. I'm gonna erase that right there. I'm gonna hit file, save now. And so now I have my project ready to go for my second tutorial. Have fun doing this one. Created using Powtoon.